everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, so guys, we're just going to do a super quick, quick, quick intro. Um, if you guys are interested in crystals to help clear the chakras, anxiety, depression, you can visit Kim K Crystals. Um, the link for her website is below, and she also does Facebook Lives a couple times a week, which are really awesome. All that info is below. Recommended readers are also below. Um... We're going to be starting the uh, giveaways again, okay? So um, I had to stop that for a couple months, but we're going to be starting up again. So the winners will be announced at the beginning of the month, okay? So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, in the description box below, you're going to see a list of everything that I give away every month. And all you have to do is go to the comment section and hashtag what you would like to win, okay? Um, and winners will be announced uh, at the beginning of every month. Um what else do I want to tell you guys? Um, for uh, live readings with me or video readings with me, so I will be going on live and doing uh, live question readings um, at least a few times a week. Uh, or you can book a reading with me through my website, which is listed below, okay? Um, and last but not least, guys, when leaving a comment, um, if you have something negative that you would like to say about the reading, you are more than welcome to drop a comment. Um, just please be aware that as a reader, it doesn't really affect me because, you know, I clear my energy and ground all day long. Um, but there are plenty of people that this reading will resonate with, so please try to not disregard or disrespect the people that are hurting. Um, you know, we are a family here and we try to be kind to one another. So if the reading doesn't resonate with you, um, you know, try to be understanding for the people that it does resonate with. Uh, last but not, well, I already said last but not least. <laughs> um, Guys, these uh, readings could be energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through, something your person's going through, um, or it could be, you know, something that a close friend or family member is going through. Um, this could also be, uh, you know, it is intended to be love, but this could also be for a friend or family member, okay? It could be, you know, anybody that you care about, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with your reading, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, my loves, let's see what we have here today for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So my loves, if you would like to follow me on TikTok, the link is below. So let's go ahead and start with some channeled messages, okay? So Scorpio, I feel like there's either an ex here or a friend or a family member. Um, I feel like somebody here wanted a second chance. Somebody here wanted to heal a situation. They wanted to fix it. They wanted to, you know, try again. Um, but they're coming to the realization that that's not going to happen. And the anxiety and the want to fix the situation every day that goes by is slowly but surely fading, okay? And I feel like someone here is either becoming, stepping into their own power independently where you know they're taking care of the bills doing whatever they got to do like their 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 life is um becoming more organized by themselves or they're becoming more committed in a new relationship okay um so you know someone here is in the process of realizing that the past is never going to come back together again or something here is never going to you know what i'm saying heal itself or happen again so let's see what we have here scorpio clarity guidance and love messages for my scorpios clarity guidance love messages for my scorpios please tell me about scorpio sun moon rising and venus signs clarity Ooh, guidance love messages for my scorpios please Ooh, too many cards way too many cards let's see here all right so all right, I was going to do a you versus them, but I feel like all of these needed to come out Scorpio, so I'm just going to take them all, okay? We've got Page of Cups in the reverse. We've got Ten of Swords in the reverse. Yep, apology not accepted. It's not coming back together again. Temperance and the Ten of Pentacles, Sagittarian energy. Someone here does want to heal the situation. They want long term. They want financial stability. Um, you know, maybe Scorpio, this past person was the breadwinner, or maybe, you know, they had money possibly, or maybe you had a very strong financial future planned with this person. Um, 
and that's why they want to come back maybe or you want to go back but something here has ended as much as the, the 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 person that wants to reconcile would love to make peace because they want that ten of pentacles feeling back that feeling of stability that feeling of family that feeling of having that you know future stability it's 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 gone here okay with the moon card and the three of swords um i feel like someone here either was hiding a third party was keeping secrets or somebody here is hiding their pain okay so this may have ended because somebody here you know secretly was doing things you know to hurt somebody or this could be a situation where someone here is secretly heartbroken over this fact okay we've got the ace of swords here and then we've got the three of cups in the reverse. I feel like someone here is really starting to realize that this is never going to come back together again. There will be no reconciliation. It's just never going to happen again. Strength card in the reverse and the magician in the reverse. Um, I feel like somebody here is feeling very vulnerable at this point in time. They're feeling very angry because they can't have what they want. So with the magician in the reverse, this person may be acting out of turn. They may be manipulative, they may be a little narcissistic, you know, it may, not actually narcissistic, but, um, you know, uh, ha narcissistic tendencies. This person may be doing things to hurt because at the end of the day, hurt people hurt people, right? So someone here is secretly heartbroken. Someone here is starting to realize that they are never going to get what they actually want. So now what they're doing is they're hurting anybody that's vulnerable around them. Anyone that they can cause pain to, they will because they are hurting. Whether they're doing this uh, consciously or subconsciously, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? So let's see what we have here. Tell me about this page of cups in the reverse for Scorpio please page of cups in the reverse for Scorpio the five of Pentacles yes yeah, someone here was left out in the cold someone here was ghosted or just you know yeah three of swords under the deck again someone here is like I don't want your apology I don't want you I don't want to deal with nothing don't talk to me leave me alone don't bother me bye you know someone here is just like yeah with the world card this is over it's over and we're done you know tell me about the ten of swords in the reverse six of wands in the reverse someone here is realizing that they are never going to win here okay they're not nine of wands someone here is tired and exhausted from trying someone here is never going to win okay with the knight of swords here and the nine of wands someone here has been persistently wanting this or trying to reconcile with this person um it's not going to happen there will be no victory there ten of pentacles and the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy, Temperance, please, and the Six of Pentacles. Um, I feel like somebody here would love to, you know, reconcile and have this beautiful equal give and take connection, um, live happily ever after, but it's an illusion. Someone here daydreams about it. They daydream about going back. They daydream about all the amazing things that would happen, or I would do this, I would do that, I would fix this, I would balance out these scales. You know what I'm saying? Like someone here, I feel like if they did return, would have good intentions, but it's a daydream. It's all in this person's head because it's never actually going to take place. Tell me about the Three of Swords, the Knight of I'm sorry, the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Um, I feel like someone here is saying, I have no feelings for this person. I have no emotion for this person. Oh, come on now. Be logical. How can I love this person after what they did to me? Or how, how could I love this person? You know, it's been forever. We haven't been together forever. Or someone here always has a very intelligent excuse um, to cover up the fact that they're in pain. Okay, someone here is showing no emotion whatsoever over the fact that this is never going to come back together again, okay? Tell me about the moon card. Yeah, nine of pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-empress energy. Um, I feel here that this person still views this past person as um, the pre-empress. They still view this person as the most beautiful person they've met. They still view this person as a very abundant person. Um, they still view this person as the one that they would want above all others, okay? Tell me about this moon card and this nine of pentacles, page of swords. This person keeps an eye 
on this nine of pentacles this pre-empress energy someone here spies on them looks up their social media is always asking about them wants to know what's going on um so someone here you know takes what they can since there's no reconciliation someone here will look up someone's pictures or you know what i'm saying just just constantly you know keep them as close to them as they can in any way that they can okay tell me about the ace of swords here for scorpio yeah, the lover's card, Gemini energy. There is an awakening here that um, perhaps this person has moved on to somebody new and they're in a very serious connection with that new person. And I feel that with the five of swords, there's a, a tremendous amount of jealousy and pain that comes along with this knowledge, okay? Someone here is starting to realize that this, yes, the ace of swords, again, seven of pentacles and the five of wands with the nine of cups. Um, I feel that especially because someone has moved on and the more that, you know, this person that wants to reconcile realizes that that new connection is like serious and that this is never going to come back together because someone has moved on in a new relationship or has met someone new. It's driving someone crazy. It's literally driving someone crazy that um, this person has chosen the new person over them. Tell me about the three of cups in the reverse for Scorpio. The King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Um, I feel like either once again, um, this person is very upset because there's no reconciliation due to the fact that this person is committed or this person is committed to a cause that's never going to work. We've got the Seven of Swords here and the Knight of Cups. I feel that someone here, even though they know that this person is in a relationship or is you know talking to someone else or whatever continues to sneak in with romantic offers with you know hey let's meet up or you know I you know I still love you or you know what I'm saying and and I feel like with the seven of swords this person's very sneaky the way they try to sneak their way in hoping that you know it would possibly sabotage the new connection and that this person would come back to them okay but I don't see that happening I feel like with the king of pentacles it's a very solid connection and this this person cannot break up that new connection strength card in the reverse and the hierophant taurus energy um, tell me about the magician in the reverse and the knight of pentacles so i feel here scorpio that somebody here is possibly um in a relationship and what's happening is Yeah, I feel like, okay, so this could be one of two things, Scorpio, that I'm picking up on here, okay? Um, because I did get when I was channeling that some this person that wants to reconcile with the past may be in a new relationship themselves, okay? And I feel like someone here is, you know, dating and dating like to marry, okay? But at the same time, because this person cannot get what they want because they're hurt uh, with the strength card in the reverse and the magician in the reverse, this person may be acting very badly in this current connection okay because with the eight of cups here they're still in the process of trying to emotionally connect and walk away four of wands and the ten of cups i i feel like the person that wants the past has a new connection they're on their way to get married they're on their way i mean we've got the ten of cups the four of wands the hierophant they're dating somebody to marry someone here is in a very serious connection living with someone possibly but they're still in the process of emotionally disconnecting from the past and again with the strength card in the reverse and the magician um this person is having a hard time in this newer connection um because they're hurt because they can't get what they want Okay. All right, guys, I love you so very much and I will see you guys soon. Bye, my loves.